everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. This is part 5. Uh, last time we made it through No Man's Wharf, uh, met a couple of uh, new NPCs, um, both related to sorcery, pyromancy, uh, etc. Which was uh, which was really great. And we opened up some new areas. We got onto a goddamn ghost ship and that opened up a new area. Uh, we freed the pyromancer lady. That freed up a new area. Uh, so we've got places to go, uh, so we can, we can either go to the Shaded Woods or the Lost Bastille. Um, but I think the first thing is to address a couple of things before we move forward. Is, um, I specifically chose, um, Sorcerer for a reason. I am very interested in a different playstyle. I didn't want to do exactly the same thing that I did in the first game, where I was just mainly going for, like, um, anything that I could guard and stab when I was doing like the S-Doc or like the Spears, um, which is very good, but I got very comfortable with that. Um, and I wanted to give myself a different challenge with new game, new playstyle, new class. And um, I'm going to commit to that because I, I want to play as a sorcerer and I, I believe that the value in this playthrough is that it is like me experiencing this game for the first time and choosing to play how I want to play. Um, so... I'm not going to restart my playthrough because I chose Sorcerer. I'm uh, I'm enjoying it, and I am going to put some more levels uh, into Strength and Dex um, eventually as well, because I do want to wield at least one other physical weapon that I can do. At least a sword would be nice instead of like a dagger or a broken sword. Um, and just, uh, just like a, a reminder that like I am actually progressing through the game and actually getting past certain points, you know, uh, like I'm killing bosses, I'm getting through enemies, like it's a struggle, which is the point, you know, um, so it's just like just a polite reminder that like I'm not stuck, I'm not going, ah, I can't figure this out, I'm begging for help, I'm screaming for help, please let me know how to do stuff, it's like I'm actually working things out, which is why I appreciate like more so like gentle nudges of like, hey, this area that you revisited, there's some stuff there. I go back and revisit areas anyway, and I did that last episode, but we're going to go back to the Forest of Fallen Giants and explore it even more because there is that area that we haven't explored that I'm aware of. Um, I've, I mentioned it in the first episode, the first time we went to the Fallen uh, Giants, is I was like, oh, there's this area that I'm not sure if I can go down to. Uh, so I made a mental note to go back there. I'm not just going to ignore areas, you know what I mean? Uh, so, just a reminder um, that the back seating, uh, especially from a large audience, can get a little bit uh, overwhelming, and I don't want to feel that pressure to have to play a particular way. I do want to play the way that I want to, and I hope you guys can appreciate that, because uh, I don't want that to ruin the experience, you know? Um, just keep in mind that I think I'm doing okay. I'm actually progressing through areas. Um, I'm not hugely stuck where I have to give up and end an episode or out of frustration because I can't figure it out, you know? Uh, so I just wanted to lay that point down that I think we've been doing, I think we've been doing pretty good in a game that, uh, I've been told is, you know, already quite unforgiving, um, on its own. So I'm excited for, I'm excited for this episode. We're going to... Uh, go back into the Forest of Fallen Giants. We're going to check out that area to the right. I'm assuming we will find a bonfire that will allow us to travel back. Because I was like, it doesn't look like we can come back from there. And then I think we're going to go through to the Lost uh, Bastille. Um, regardless, um, you know, we'll see how we go. I'm going to assume that this dude is cosplaying as, as Guts. Look at that. Rest in peace, Kentaro Mira, author of Berserk. Uh, the news, the news hit yesterday um, that he passed on May the sixth, uh, which is a huge tragedy. And I've really seen the waves that that impact has made uh, throughout the internet just over the past 24 hours. Uh, it's been absolutely insane. I've been seeing a lot of people in video games like Final Fantasy 14 communities really come together and like everyone's being like a dark knight and everyone's posting how Mira has made people feel and I'm a fairly recent fan of Berserk. I got into it um, later, kind of like 
in the late part of last year, I started watching the the animes, and I just mentioned um, in my recent Q and A video um, that I've been holding off on getting onto the manga because I actually wanted to see if it would be finished before I would jump in. Um, but that's kind of up in the air at the moment, so I really am going to try and push myself to to start reading through that because I have looked at panels and pieces of art from it before, and it's absolutely beautiful that artwork um and i really have enjoyed what i've watched of the anime as well the, the golden age arc through the 1997 anime and the 2011 one uh, but i haven't touched the 2016 series yet um but i but i might look into that getting a bit off topic but obviously we know that dark souls um took huge inspiration from Mira and Berserk. Uh, so, brief mention when I saw that dude, and I was like, oh, he's like, he's got like the Berserker armor sort of deal, um, which is which is cool to see. But with that one, guys, I'm gonna take a drink of water because uh, as soon as I start recording, my voice decides to go. <laughs> and we're gonna go to the Forest of Fallen Giants. Um, so let's let's check it out. If we travel. Um, I'm just trying to think where the best... We'll do it from the Cardinal Tower. Um, also, something that I experienced on my own before I started seeing them coming through in the comments is um, that uh, you can deplete uh, an area of their enemies. They will, they will stop uh, respawning. I did that in Soldier's Rest because I was grinding in there a little bit. Um, and now they, uh, unfortunately, uh, no, but no longer come back to life. Part of me is just like hoping that these dudes will stop spawning. I'm waiting for these dudes to stop spawning. That fireball throw is pretty nice, actually. This dude gonna wake up. I'm waiting. Yeah, that fireball's nice. Like that's a that's a big uh, improvement in my opinion over the Dark Souls One fireball because the Dark Souls One you kind of just throw it on the ground uh, even like without the lock on uh, even with the lock on it's pretty weird uh, so this one feels like much more of an actual like throw like a proper throw of a fireball which I really like. Is this dude gonna get up? Yeah, he is. I was like, can I just ignore him? No, I can't. It also takes so long to lock onto them. Don't know why I dodged forward, but that's fine. All right, now, this area. Uh, if we just go straight down, should just be able to go onto the ladder. Um, and then we gotta deal with these dudes. And then there's also, just trying to see if there's like a safer way down. We'd get onto the roof. That's okay. We could also do this. This seems like a nice. Okay, there we go. Hurrah for fog wall. I don't know if he's meaning illusory wall. But we just gotta double check just to make sure. Um, I'm assuming we will die if we go into the water. Because that doesn't look. <laughs> see? Unlike Dark Souls 1, I can actually see <laughs> the edges. Oh my god, this is gonna be a pain. I hate long range fighters in Dark Souls 2. These dudes annoy me. Don't. Because they're much smarter. They like they predict your they predict your field of movement. Oh, that dude up there. Oh my god. Just trying to make sure that I am. Checking everywhere because if I miss an area, I never hear the end of it. Because there's an item down there. There's a dude down there as well. 
But then I'm just trying to, I'm going through this whole area just trying to see if there's like a way back to places. I gotta jump across there, but then... Hmm. I think that takes me back. Okay. We'll jump across there. Okay. That dude's gonna try and come for me, but I don't know why. See, we're doing good. We're doing good. I can climb up here. Or I can go through here. Oh! Oh. Is there gonna be another one? Human effigy, nice. Is this like a Sen's Fortress situation where there's gonna be one frequently rolling down here? Oh! Jesus Christ, that was close. Alright, I think it was just the one. Oh, what the fuck's going on here? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just daydreaming, I think. My name is Kale. I'm a traveler like yourself. I'm navigating the continent to create a map. Why cartography, you ask? Well, that's a good question. When I first came to this forsaken land, it was um, a, a, a curse? Uh, something about a curse? <laughs> How embarrassing. I seem to have lost my focus. But I do know one thing for certain. I have always been very fond of maps. Can I have one? I came to this land some time ago. Dranglik, the lost kingdom. It sounded so romantic. Have you seen Majula? Oh, there's a rather spacious mansion there. I've made it my temporary home. Well, as something of a squatter, I'm afraid. Have you got the key? Because it's locked. Inside the mansion, I found a strange map, like none I'd ever seen. I believe that it's a map of Dren Lake. Now I'm traveling the land to prove it. Yes, yes, that's it. That's why I came to the kingdom. Wait, no, that wasn't it. What? Then what? I don't seem to recall. Okay. Were you looking for that map? Wonderful. Then you are fascinated by maps, just like me. Shame on you. You should have told me before. Here, take this. A key to the mansion. Nice. What a joy to meet a kindred spirit out here. Incredible, really, isn't it? Such a map to be chiseled in stone. Okay. Oh, but one thing. I would not venture deep into the mansion. I can't be certain, but I've heard disturbing noises. Something about it feels wrong. Just be careful, please. Mmm. That's interesting. Another another place to go. I'll be back in Majula soon. Perhaps we will meet again and discuss maps at our leisure. I'll be back. Perhaps. Cool. Um, I think it has been mentioned in comments as well that I believe with continuing certain NPCs' storylines is I think you have to. Uh, be human and summon them uh, for, for boss fights uh, which is not something that we've done at this point yet um, unfortunately uh, so I can I can try when we get to like boss fight areas maybe burning uh, an effigy not burning one sorry um, 
using one because we've got 13 um, and then we can see um, if there's a summon sign nearby um, because we did have that dude who offered uh, assistance to us who was the dude who was like oh that gate if you go through there it's like a trap someone went there before forgotten his name already but he's voiced by um, I don't know how to say his last name but voiced by like Pete something um, is voiced by like Pete something um, and then who's like the voice of Darth Maul from uh, from episode one Revenge. Okay. Um, also, I'm like I'm remaining online, um, but trying to limit the messages that I'm reading because a lot of them uh, can be like either spoilery or just you know I do kind of I like the silly ones, but I'm keeping it on to kind of have some assistance um, for looking for like illusory uh, walls that I can. Um, that I can press A um, to to activate, you know. Okay. So I've now taken this guy out. Hmm. This is very interesting to me. Oh, I forgot to get that item. Hold on. Let's get that item. And then I'm wondering if this type of area is one where it's like you need to... I'm surprised we could lock on from there. Um, is an area where you can't come back from and then you need to do a homeward bone to get back. So then if you don't have a homeward bone, you're kind of stuck. You'd have to like die and then come back. Oh, there's a gate there actually. Hold on. Oh, this is the other side of that soldier's rest. Interestingly enough, there's an enemy there. Um, but I have exhausted soldier's rest of enemies. So what's really curious there is maybe is it showing me an enemy in that area? Um, because we're not in soldier's rest right now, so it hasn't like rendered and it just like puts an enemy there. Maybe. That might be, that might be the case. Okay, uh, in that case... Hmm? See, those messages are like very hit and miss. But if I go back around, the next thing I want to do... So I'm just trying to see if I have a way back normally. The next thing we're going to do is go down here. You can't go that way. Got a torch. And then we're on here. But that's kind of it. Unfortunately, like, it'd be nice if this was, like, a pathway. But there isn't a way up. So I think you have to kind of homeward bone to get back. So I was thinking maybe we could, like, jump on a tree from here, but we can't. To get back up. So that's a bit weird. Um, I think... I think this area is complete, uh, so we'll homeward bone back to the bonfire. Pretty sure. Um, there was just that NPC in there and then no way back up. So I guess there are areas where it might be handy to keep a homeward bone on you. Um, another thing that people have mentioned that I'm going to check out is go back to Majula and we're going to talk to our lovely merchant friend. Um, because apparently she'll have something to say um, about the fragrant branch of yore because we used it on a statue. I knew you'd be back. <laughs> Take these. 
If you want them. <laughs> Ooh, COVID a silver serpent ring plus one. What? That's nice. Everyone's so stingy around here. Everyone's so stingy everywhere. You're my only customer. <laughs> Don't make me beg. Now buy something. We call this place Majula. Not too special. It's just the place. Everyone's okay, maybe I missed something because I might have taken a bit too long to talk to her. And let's have a look. I think I'm okay at the moment because I want to use souls to to level up. Put some points into uh, strength um, and dexterity, so I can get to a point where I can wield, you know, some better stuff. Lovely. Because at the moment we got. wield a foot soldier sword if I have seven strength. Everything else is a little more demanding, but the foot soldier sword we should be able to get by with, with seven strength. Bear, seek, seek, lest this. Bear, seek, seek, lest. Um, give me seven strength because that's what I need. And then I can level up once more, so I'm going to put a point into Dexterity. Sounds good to me. Over the hill and past the forest is the King's Castle. Where a man peered straight into the essence of the soul. But whatever came of it. Those who come to Drang Lake seeking it happens to that blue knight at the although he does perhaps he foreshadowing of your own future. Um let's equip this sword. It also could be a good idea actually to do it this way. So I'll hold the uh, staff here so I can focus on doing like cool backhands and stuff. Switch to dual wield easily and then can switch to a shield if necessary. Hello again. How have you been? Master Kurillian and I are from Malfia to the south, a land lush with sorcery and pyromancy. Master Corillian Holly, but he argued mm, this. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Be safe. I wonder if that map dude is here um, and hanging around the old mansion, which we are going to use the key on. So we can finally go in there. Large Titanite shards, that's not gonna work, but we can upgrade this for now. A couple of times, which is nice. I don't know if it's worth reinforcing, could be worth reinforcing some armor. I did not do that at all in the last game. Um, I think I I think I might have done it in like the beginning, and then I just instantly just stopped and we just focused on weapons. Might check in on this guy. Oh, hello again. Uh, I hope you find something of use. <sighs> oh, by the gods, why the? <sighs> oh. Okay. Um. Be 
be nice if this I, I could compare with what I currently have when I'm like buying this stuff. Well, I, I, well, I do hope I see you again. I don't know, bro. We'll see how we go. Yeah, I'm doing all right so far. Is the dude hanging around here anywhere? Wouldn't be hanging around with the pigs, that's for sure. Alright, let's open this place up. Use the house key. Another reason I want to go back to the Forest of Fallen Giants uh, in another area is apparently um, I went straight past a bonfire um, which is pretty funny, um, because that's classic me. Um, so I, this book is massive. So I'll try and, I'll try and check that out as well. Dude, the book is huge. Ah, oh. mate, mate, we were so close to a lock stone. We were so close to a lock stone at multiple points. And we bought one like chumps. Alright, well I'm also hearing some weird noises. Ooh. You sure the weird noises just aren't the pigs, sir? Ooh, upstairs? Three Titanite Shards, nice. Okay. Yeah, these noises are the pigs. <laughs> that cartographer dude doesn't know what he's talking about. He's like, ah, weird noises. I'm like, yeah, it's the pigs, dude. It's fine. Don't stress about the pigs, my guy. They're a little bit, a little bit unfriendly, but they're fine. Nothing that you can't handle. Everyone's dead here. Why is everyone dead here? It's like a torch. What's happened? What's going on with the flame? I kind of want to read these. Secret. Hmm. There's obviously there's got to be there's got to be a point to this. Skeletons. God damn it, skeletons. Here you go. Oh no. He fucking he got me. You're not going to come back to life, are you? Cool. Ah, uh, this is where I've got a torch. Oh, maybe you can use that fire on the floor. Oh, actually, hold on. Oh, no, I, w I can't, because otherwise it would say, like, light torch, right? And you can't equip a torch. But it's dark down here. And it seems like I could, uh... What's there? There's an item that we have, right? This one? That can light the torch, a flame butterfly? Don't know if I want to waste that. When I don't even know where I am. 
Oh. Mm. Boy. I'll fucking take it. I'll fucking take it. Soul vessel, dude. You know how you know how fucking stressed I am uh, opening chests in this game. Like, do you know how stressed I am opening chests in this game? Because I'm not. I'm trying not to check notes. You can't hit. Like the, all the chests look different. I don't know if there's any like key takeaways of like how to identify. Um, How do I identify a mimic? Because there's metal chests, there's wooden chests, I don't want to break chests. Yeah, there's something, there's something in here. There's something in here. Sadness hand. Okay, there's something here that I'm not able to quite figure out. I did it. I wonder what that relates to. See, this is why messages are just more confusing. Because it's like, there's definitely stuff that you wouldn't figure out or be able to come across on a blind playthrough when you're not, like, looking stuff up. So, like, when you see, like, messages that are quite cryptic, you're like, hmm? Well, I guess we can just tell this dude that it was like, bro, nothing to worry about. It's just a skeleton. You can, you can chill out, Mr. Cartographer Man. I removed the skeleton, I got a soul vessel, and an Estus flask shard, so we Gucci. We're so fine. Show this to a certain person, and... A vessel that will accept your souls. It can allow reallocation of levels, but without proper assistance, it may simply drain you of souls. Ah, uh, if you truly wish to start again, go to the place where your journey began. Okay, cool. Uh, this is that lady that we spoke to last time where she was like, Oh, do you want to start again? But, because this is a soul vessel, I'm assuming if we said yes to her before and we didn't have a soul vessel to use, it would just wipe us clean and we'd have to start again. But, if you do soul vessel, it allows re uh, reallocation, so we can like retain all of the souls and the levels that we've gained, and then start again. So if I get to a point where I'm like, oh yeah, sorcery is pretty fun, but maybe I want to experience being one of the other classes now, um, you can jump around and change that, which I think is really cool. Being able to like respec your character in that same playthrough, um, super, super good feature. I'm going to commit to my choice to be a sorcerer, but we'll definitely hold on to this, but we know that we can show it to, um, one of the, one of the old firekeeper hags in the, uh, in the hut, which is good to know, uh, but we will reinforce our Estus flask to a, to six. Is How about Take it. Awesome. Good stuff. Um, okay, before I forget, uh, next thing on the agenda is we are going to go back to Forest of the Fallen Giants. Um, and I will... Just trying to think how I want to work through the forest. Which way do I want to go? I think I'll just do Soldier's Rest. We'll just do it from Soldier's Rest. Um, oh, it's going to spawn all those... Um, skeletons in that room however um, I think I might get rid of um, I might get rid of fireball for now because I'm, pu I'm putting more time and effort into my my sorcery um, so let me take that off yeah that's kind of kind of what I'm thinking at the moment. Focus more on my spell casting so that way I get more uh, more arrows. I 
I'm actually wondering, if I do a shield on each side, <laughs> that means I can... I can still block while being a sorcerer, or I can switch to then being a swordsman. Or I can just do this! <laughs> Double parry! Dual shielding. Um, yeah, see, there's no, there's no enemies out here. Because we killed them all. Except for the skeletons. Um. Okay. Just, just making sure I got a feel for the, for the, for the right buttons. As we, as we push through. And then I just need to not get confused with my, my rights and lefts. Alright, so if we leave out this way, we've still got the skeleton. Hang on, is there an enemy that's still- Ah, oh, there's still an Ah! Oh, this is one enemy that I guess I haven't killed um, enough times. Oh, that, that was insanely risky. Why did I do that? Oh, come on. Oh, you could have fallen. Oh, no. Yep. Okay, so there are still enemies here. But I guess this one in particular, um, I just haven't killed enough times to wipe him off the face of the earth yet. Which makes sense. So there are particular... It's not just the whole area that gets wiped. Okay. Just want to make sure that we deal with these guys in good time. Assemble yourselves! Leave me alone. Ooh, they drop human effigies. I, s oh, I was literally just going to go, yes, we can farm enemies here. Realizing that, you know, the game removes the grind for you. It says, oh, you don't want to grind. We'll just remove the enemies from the area if you keep killing them. And apparently there's a weird method to bring them back. Which I might figure out another time. See how we go. Alright. I really think it probably would have been just better for us to spawn up there. Because there's like less enemies, but here's what it is. Look how long it takes for us to be able to lock on. Like, man is fully standing before we're able to even do anything about it. Alright, now we want to go here. So if you get if you get this dude to whack the explosive barrels, they'll blow up. But if I do it... Jesus. But if I do it... They don't blow up, unless it's, like, with an explosive thing. I really wish that I got further away from that. <laughs> and I'm genuinely surprised that didn't destroy me. So, moral of the story, if you see, like, the darker barrels, let the enemy blow it up. Why are you more active than the other dude? Alright. I don't even think... Like, this isn't even where... I think... I'm supposed to be going. Because what I... Oh, that, that'll kill me. Because I'm pretty sure we explored that area already pretty well. Ooh. wonder if you can uh, open that up somehow. I 
think what I what we should do is we'll do this. I got confused as to where I um which direction I was supposed to be going in. But if I go back here, this is where I should be able to go back to another bonfire, because it was earlier, not towards the end. So ignore me, I just literally, I'm like, oh yeah, directions, where, hold on, where are we going? Where are we going, what are we doing? There's also this area. Oh, how dare you be so quick. Um, there's also this area, right? And we, we looked at this, I guess we can just like drop down. Alright, fucking... Let's do this. Oh, we could have dropped down on him. Okay, okay, okay. This is what Homeward Bones are for. This It's like, it's kind of good because like, I didn't really use Homeward Bones uh, all that much. Um... Ooh, okay. I didn't use Homeward Bones all that much. In my first playthrough. But this, like, actually tries to get you to use them. Nice. Okay, looks like we're going down from here. We got soldiers. We got people. Ooh, we got fire. We got fire. We got fire, baby. Oh, we lost our dead. How dare you. How dare you live. Oh shit, man. We got... <gasps> we got like petrified statues here as well. What the hell's going on down here? And how do I get to that item up there? Can I go up here? Looks a bit too steep. Hmm. Yeah, because there's a whole bunch of stuff over there. Oops. Sorry. Oh, fuck me. Okay. What's going on here? Hmm. Hmm. Well, this is new. Oh, that's rude. There we go. I was wondering when this guy was going to, like, actually do something. Oh, man. You're really going for it, huh? Okay. Swords actually are not too bad against them. I think hitting them on the back probably won't work very well though. I don't think you can I get the backstab? Oh what the fuck <laughs> What the fuck? Fuck you! Oh that's funny. Oh that's funny. You think you're funny. You knew I was there the whole time. You're like, and I'm just gonna fall back on him. Get out of here. Um, that cave doesn't look fun. This cave looks less dangerous. I'll take it. A foot soldier shield. 
yeah, it's not as good. Chuck it in the bin. We'll sell it to that dude. Before we go into the flame cave, we might check out this. Ah, oh, there's a way back up. What's going on here? What is going on here? How do I get up there? I guess we have to maybe go through the, the flame cave to figure that out. Okay, just just a just a bit of eternal fire happening. That's that's fine. It's okay. Just a little bit of eternal fire never hurt anyone. It's weird that there's not a ladder just to go all the way back up, but that's fine, I get you. Right, there's a house there. There's a giant there. Maybe we can drop down onto that platform from up there. We'll have to find out. When we go back. Oh, I know what this flame room is. We went down there in the lift. There's like a little salamander dude in there. And we dropped, we fell down there once. And it was embarrassing. Okay, that's, I remember where we are now. Can we even walk through here? Ooh, the... Ooh! Ooh! The whole atmosphere has changed. Alright, I see. Weakness projectile. We just gotta time this, that's all. Maybe not. Quick! Be faster. What the hell? Alright. Fire longsword. Well, that's not gonna do much against this guy, but that's fine. Ten strength, nine dexterity. The straight sword is sufficient in most respects. Effective uh, in most situations. Okay, so it's just a longsword, but it's got f the fire. It's got fire element. So it does... 51.6. 78 fire damage. Okay. Alright, uh, this dude just won't let up. The timing! <laughs> Alright, uh, do something that costs, uh, that takes less time to cast. We'll get him. We'll get him out of here. We'll get him out of his little house. He's comfortable in there, but we'll get him out. There we go. Nice. Little fucking. Fire breathing salamander dude. Oh, I can't even. Surely we can jump over it. <gasps> You're joking. Really? What? How do we get there? How do we get in there? Hmm. Hey, yeah. you can't jump when you're I'm kind of annoyed that you can't jump when you hit a surface. You have to jump just before it. Yep, I don't think this is gonna work. If we can't, if we can't do it like with uh, a relative amount of ease, I don't think we can. I don't think we can do it. But we can at least. I got it. I guess we've, we've we've killed the guy, so that's that's cool. But we're gonna figure out how to how to get to this dude. All right, just just checking. I've assessed the situation, and it has been determined that I cannot go through that way. But there's a whole other side here.
I'm curious about this tree. Can I? Oh, hang on. <gasps> Yo. That almost killed me. So maybe let's try that. Let's try and do a jump instead of a roll. Can I? Yeah, dude. Prism stone. I'm trading those in. Smooth and shiny, baby. Um, huh. Wow. Well. Alright. I still need to figure out how to get to that side. And I think... I might be able to get through that hole in the in the wall, actually, that I saw before. Up this way. Just want to see if there's a way to go to get back without using the homeward bone. Let's see. Uh, in here. Yeah, dude. Nice. Alright, I know where we are. Alright, alright, alright. I see. I see what's happening here. Oh, that arrow still hits me. How dumb is that? Fucking, these just standard enemies are straight up Legolas level of arrow skill. Like, my god. Straight up Legolas, baby. Alright, now, let's see. I don't think we can... How do we get... How do we get there? Because I saw that there was like... We must be able to get there through this way and maybe this is an area that I haven't explored properly so let's let's try let's do this there's more to this place than I oh hang on is that illusory wall hold on visions of destroy try projectile um hmm I guess we'll try. Can always just buy another one of these. Yep, never mind. That's fine. Maybe there's a wall that needs to be blown up with projectiles. What I'm thinking is, based on location, I think if we go through this way... There's a tiny salamander boy down there, and that is the... that's the room that's blocked off. Yeah, there it is. Uh, if we go through here... That's going to do a lift. This I'm still not sure about, what we can do about this. Because that hasn't activated before. This dude's just sleeping. Just pretending to. Ooh, was it here? Try destroy, control head. Mm. 
Well, that's not doing anything. We're experimenting. I'm just trying to figure shit out. Looks like you could destroy that, and it's saying try to destroy it. Okay. Because it seems like that would be how to get to that area. Oh my... Jesus! Fuck off! Settle down. Is this... Is this it? Is this... Is this how it ends? I could have just killed him with a sword. It's not any of the doors with the key, because I've already done that. I've already done all these doors. Oh, I accidentally pressed the wrong button. I've done this already. Oh. Hello. It's blocked off and destroyed. Oh, hang on. I didn't do this fog wall. I didn't do this fog wall. Oh, that's funny. So I came here when I was unlocking these doors because I was like, oh yeah, I'll look for these doors and I'll just unlock them to see what I can find. I found a fog wall when I went, oh cool, I need to come back here later. Because <laughs> uh, I'm obviously not going to go through a fog wall on my own. Uh, lo and behold, I forget about it until now. So there you go. So sometimes, you know, I'll eventually come back to an area. What is on the other side? Alright, let's find out. We got four flasks, life gems, we got some witching urns. Enough soul arrows. Magic weapon. I'm ready. Is it a boss? It is. Oh fuck! Oh fuck, it's this dude! He got dropped off before! Fuck. I was- I tried to get him to spawn last episode. And that's because he had a set spot to spawn in. Oh bitch. Oh, bitch. Look at that. The Pursuer. Wow. Alright, well, we've already beaten one of you. Uh, don't know how good... How, uh, how good he was compared to you, but I'm figuring you out. Ooh, we actually did stagger him there. Oh, I'm messing up my timings here. I'm completely messing up my timings. This music! Oh! My stamina, dude. I gotta watch out. I swear I pressed the... I didn't mean to activate that spell because I was trying to pull my shield out. No! Don't put my sword... Oh, my sword is about to break. Fuck you. I'm not letting my sword break because uh, we want to go back to a bonfire. Holy shit, man. Ooh, I risked, I really risked that uh, other one. Oh no. Oh! Luck! Pure luck.
He's got arrows and like spears and stuff. Are you gonna use them, buddy? Oh! Shit. One more. One more. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. <gasps> Pursuer has been pursued. Soul of the Pursuer, Ring of Blades. The Pursuer has been pursued. Cool. And that was probably the dude that you guys were waiting for me to fight uh, for the past few episodes. You're like, hey, <laughs> go back to the forest of the fallen giants. Because there's a guy there. I was, obviously, as you can see, I tried to get him to respawn last episode because we were like, oh, we'll go back to that spot. But that was just a uh, a tease of what's to come. How interesting is that? That they're like, oh, we'll throw you like an enemy, a boss, that's like a tease of what's to come that you're not prepared for in that moment. Um, what's interesting, though, is I didn't think that that enemy type was a boss because I saw another one um, in that area that spawns. So I was like, oh, there's like different types of these dudes that pop up all over the place. But no. But no. That is, that is not the case. The Pursuer was cool. I, I feel like if he got that hit in when I just hit him with the spell, he would have killed me. He would have killed me. There's another dude wrecking the giant shield. There we go. Now I get to put the Pursuer in the title so you guys know that I came back here. <laughs> Alas, nothing happened. Okay, this is still blocked off. Ooh, hold on. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <gasps> Yo, I'm getting Dark Souls, Dark Souls 1 vibes. I'm getting Dark Souls 1 vibes. The Chosen Undead. Firelink Shrine. Oh fuck. Guys, I, was, I still was supposed to just go back and try and find a bonfire in the Forest of the Fallen Giants. Oh, it's taken me to the Lost Bastille. Yo. Uh, so you can get here by two different methods. The crow can drop you off by flight, or you can activate the the old ghost ship, right? Dull ember. Holy fuck. Dull ember. Dull ember. Oh, hang on, it was a key item. It said key. An ember that radiates a dull light. Cool, we got our first ember again, so we could give that to the blacksmith, right? An ember radiating a dull light. This flame seems nearly exhausted, but exhibits an eerie resilience. Perhaps this is its ordinary state. We can give that ember to the blacksmith. Correct? Okay. Okay. Alright. I'm picking up what you're putting down. We're in a different area to the, in the Lost Bastille. The tower apart. So we've now got two locations. Now I can use my sword again. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. I'm actually... I wonder where that other bonfire that we activated here is. I'm also curious about what is going on here, because I'm like, are we, are we supposed to be here? Are we allowed to be here? Can we be... Oh, yeah, we can just run over the top. There you go. Thanks, Mr. Online Man. Alright, we've seen that dude on the ghost ship before. A ladder. Dogs. Crossbow man. Flaming crossbow man. <gasps> ah! What the fuck? Oh, shit. I don't have my Estus Flask on. Jesus, buddy. Oh my god. 
I was not expecting that fucking fire shit to come out of him. Woo! Lingering flame. Is that a spell? Lingering flame is pyromancy. One of the pyromancies devised by Strayed, the great mage of ancient uh, Olaphus. Olaphus. Release a static fireball that explodes when fi uh, when foes draw near. Strayed was an oddly gifted mage, well versed in both sorceries and pyromancies, but his curious temperament never allowed him to settle down in one place for very long. A lingering flame. Place a little trap. Place a little trap. I actually, um, I actually really love that there was like uh, two um, entrances to Lost Bastille. How to destroy the sound barrier? Nice. Um, ooh. This is our friend that we made. This is our friend that we made. Okay, no men's wharf. Antiquated key. A very old key. This key is very old, but in very good condition, such that it should still function. Only what lock does this key fit? I thought that might be you. You haven't changed a bit, have you? <laughs> The longer I am here, the more madness I discover. A wretched place indeed, but not without traces of its former glory. What could have caused such degradation? Ah, yes, I have not thanked you for humoring me the other day. This is for you. Nice. Of course, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Our land of Mira is surrounded by enemies and constantly at war. There is only one way up in Mira. Join the Order and prove yourself in battle. My family had little fortune and no name. I had to carve out a piece of the world for myself. With two things. My sword, and my loyalty to my lord. I was raised to wield a sword from birth. Life was hard, but I never gave it a second thought. I had swift success on the battlefield, and quickly attained respectable stature. And then I... And then I came here... to... To what? Have you heard of the un- An undead gradually loses his humanity until his wits degrade completely. Finally, he turns hollow and preys upon others. And a hollow can never be human again. One can skirt this wicked fate only with the help of the souls found here. Assuming, of course, that the legends are true. I can only hope <gasps> that they are. <gasps> oh fuck, she's like part of her face. Hang on a minute, we've got binoculars, right? She removed her mask for us. Um. Uh, how do you use binoculars in this game? Oh, they're like a, okay. They're equipable like a weapon. Alright. Ah, oh, that's cool. Can you... Dude. I'm sorry. To burden you with talk of my fate. I suppose I've grown weary these days. Holy shit. Um, I suppose, because you equipped the monoculars this way... I'll equip them in this hand because I've been told as a nice little tip that if you 
do this, if you like, it'd be nice if there was a crosshair, but I think if you center it, you can then aim at people at a distance. But dude. Wow. I'm sorry. I suppose it. I'm glad that we're developing some NPC stories by encountering them like this because that is fucked. That's crazy. Alright, I guess we're in the Lost Bastille. Uh, I can always... I'm wondering if I can now because I kind of jumped over the thing. Can I go back to the bonfire? Probably not. Alright, let's try, let's try this. Yeah, check that out, that's cool. Yeah, just as long as I aim in the middle of the screen. I can probably lock on to these dudes from this distance, but... Oh, I'll just lock on. But, uh, that's good to know. Explosive barrels that would have probably, uh been destroyed with that dude shooting fire arrows at me. Ooh, that's a drop. Wow, this place is very interesting. Can we ring that bell? Oh god, hang on. Oh my god. I just heard like breathing for a second there. It's, see, it's one of these guys again. Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. I can, we can, we can do this. I can, I can take you on. Ooh, the famous last words. What the f- oh, this is that curse thing. Check that out. That's called dodging, baby. Oh, yep. He knows he knows how to dodge. That's good to know. So are these the- these are just the pursuer's children, right? He just, like, fucked a lot made a lot of these goods. He's like, carry on my legacy. S smaller versions of him. I'm sorry, sir, but you've got a repetitive routine and I'm all over it. Ooh. 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 Not right at the end. Not right at the end of our glorious battle. There we go. You caught me off guard there, sir. I didn't really appreciate that. Twinkling Titanite. Okay. Um, this whole time, I totally forgot that I was given that ring by the merchant. I'm just like space today. Because we got the covetous silver serpent ring plus one. Yield more souls. Yield more souls. Does the effect stack? Does the effect stack? I think I got distracted talking to the merchant more and then checking out the house and then I just, you know, I was like, oh, I got a ring. Instantly forgets that I have the ring. Shortens the spell casting time, limits HP reduction, increases maximum load. I think we're actually doing pretty good for our load anyway, because we're kind of wielding. Oh, we're at 55% actually. So if I take this off, that'll... Ah, oh, can add a whip. It, it, yeah, it conflicts with one. Okay, so we already got a better one. That's cool. Um, all right, we're at fifty-five percent. So actually, pretty heavy. And I think that's because we've also. Ah, uh, 
They only weigh like 1.5. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm fine. I'm comfortable. Let's maybe take that off then. Alright, 52%. I'm pretty, I'm pretty fine with the rolling. It feels very similar to how I was rolling in Dark Souls 1. Try a sweeping attack. I don't know if I have the ability to do a sweeping attack. Okay. Just have to, you know, focus up here. I'm getting caught off guard by random baby pursuers. Forgetting that I have rings that I can equip, all sorts of things. But, um, part of me. Oh. Part of me wants to use the Homeward Bone, go back to the Emerald Herald, because, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go back home. I'm going to go back home. Um, and then I can just go back through this area again before we get too, too into it, too caught up. Go back to the Emerald Herald. Time to, time to level up. And I'll, let's see if the cartographer dude is um, is hanging around here now that we've opened the door. Okay, um, I'm going to put some more points into strength. Take us up to a 9. Dexterity to a 9. Um, attunement. God, man, when can I get a new slot? I get a new slot at level 30. I have to do five levels to get another slot. Urgh. God damn. They're really going to do that to me. That's okay. I'll chuck a couple of points in. We'll work our way there. Yeah, we need to do vitality to equip the equipment load. Every stat feels very important, you know? <laughs> Every stat feels important. Let's chuck a couple in vitality as well. Let's put that up, and then I'll continue to put strength up to level 60. Yeah, I didn't think that I had one. I was like, wait, do I have one? Ah, oh, uh, Ember to the blacksmith, dude. I knew you'd be around soon. No? I see that you oh. have an Ember. Where did you get it? Secret. I hear that Embers were once used in a special process to fortify weapons. But the whole art was lost long ago. Blacksmiths can't use Embers anymore. Oh. Including myself, I'm afraid. Just keep it as a souvenir. Blacksmiths lost the art of the ember. Right. Don't spend your whole. Wild. That's crazy. Um, I'm. Oh, it's like, do I want to level up my sword, or do I want to level up? The fire longsword. I can't even wield it, so I'll just keep the foot soldier sword for now. Reinforce it once more. Oh, guys, look, it's the spear. I'll just change to only a spear. I'll be around. Okay, so the ember, uh, the ember is just a souvenir. And you? We call this this. Lovely. 
lonely times these are. Right, let's look and see if Cartographer Man's hanging around here. Cartographer Man. It seems like it would be the place that he would be, you know? Like, if he was to come back to Majula, he would be here. Hanging out with his big old book, made for giants. Guess he's not in the house. Let's check in the back with the the skeleton. Oh no, he's uh, cool. He's back. Oh, hello again. You've made it. The map, I presume. Oh, take a good look. That's the map. Oh. Oh, it's the map. Is this my this is Majula then? Cuz this is like the coast. And that's like the first bonfire? And that goes through to the Forest of the Giants, maybe? And then that goes through to Heed's Tower of Flame? Yeah. I was literally walking over this, being like, what even is this? This is the stone map. Yeah, so this fire must be Majula. Like a nice, you are here symbol. Even more flames have appeared. I don't know what causes it. Ah. Did you see the flame on the map? It wasn't there when I came here before. I don't know what explains it. Okay. There's like particular things that we, that maybe us, the player, are doing. But there is something greatly comforting about that flame. It seems to fulfill something very precious, deep within the soul. Hmm. Something essential. So cryptic. I would not venture far into that hole. It was blocked by a wall, something built long ago. But it was crumbling and I finished the job. Now a foul sound echoes within. Can I crush it down to go in? Did you see the flame? It wasn't... I don't... Skeleton's not here. He finished the job on what? I think that dude just ran right through there. Nope. We've really been trying with these firebombs, haven't we? <laughs> oh, hang on. No? No. Okay. Maybe if I light a torch or something, I'll figure it out. But interesting. Okay. Uh, flame on the map. And he is hanging out in here now. Oh my god, are those pigs just like... They are. Those pigs are trying to fucking terrorize me. I wonder what the flame means then. Because um, something that you can check on the map is each bonfire has like... Uh, 
bonfire intensity, but the bonfire intensity at Majula is one. I don't know how to increase the intensity of it either. Guts. Keep on struggling. Um, cool. I think Forest of the Giants is completed except for except for that one little brief bonfire that we've apparently missed. Um, so I love that we've done a very roundabout way of getting to this because <laughs> it's been like an hour and a half at this point. I was like, oh yeah, we'll get to that bonfire now and one thing leads to another and the winding path of Dark Souls takes us in a completely different direction. So we went past a bonfire and I'm just going to carefully observe all of my areas. So I've been down here and that's just this is kind of standard, but I think it's when we get out here that there must be something that I missed. Oh it's right No, it's not that right ahead of me, is it? Holy fuck. I think I saw it. And if that's the case, how the fuck did I miss that? That is a bonfire right there. It's literally staring at you in the face when you walk out. What the fuck? How did I miss that? How? <laughs> what? It's staring at you when you walk out of the cave. As soon as I walked out, I went, oh, there it is. That's funny. The Crestfallen. Oh, the Crestfallen's uh, retreat. Well, got another bonfire. There you go. That's what we were missing out on, apparently. That's very entertaining. Very entertaining indeed. Alright, uh, back to the Lost Bastille. Um, now that we've uh, gotten that out of the way. Very entertaining. Now which way do we want to do? The Exile Holding Cells, which uh, we had to go through No Man's Wharf to get to. Or the Tower Apart, which we had to go through the Pursuer to get to. It almost feels like you're supposed to, not like, you are you can do it in any order, but it almost feels like because the Forest of the Fallen Giants is kind of where you would go first, you'd end up getting that key, attacking the Pursuer, then getting dropped off to this location. It almost feels like the Tower Apart is kind of your intended way to end up at Lost Bastille, but then if you decide to go the other way, um, you know, you end up at the Exile Holding Cells. Uh, we've also got... We've also got the, that dragon that's off the path to the left at Heed's Tower of Flame. Um, I'm thinking if I take out all the enemies nearby, I might be able to, like, long range the dragon to death. I might be able to, like, long range him to death and then go from there. But I think we'll save that. Uh, we'll save that for another time. We'll do Lost Bastille while we're here. Maybe we can do that next time. I just think I want to be a little bit stronger um, before we uh, before we do that. Yeah, nice. This is an option as well. That's how we get to this dude. Radiant Life Gem and a large Titanite Shard. I will take it. Why did I do this? Why did I go this way? Because now I have to deal with these dudes. See, that's what I... See, I knew that that was going to be a thing. 
<laughs> yes, the dude with the fire arrows is going to try and just blow me up completely. Nice. Alright, let's deal with this dude. Oh, that was the wrong button. Ooh, check that little fireball thing he's got going on. Has our friend moved on? She has. On to the next place, I guess. Alright. Oh, there's a petrified statue. Is that a petrified statue? Here, let me see! Yeah, it's a petrified statue. Uh, no point going on here until we get another branch, which I'm pretty sure we do not have. Yeah. Excuse me, buddy. I'm actually just trying to figure out my next location. Ah! Oh, ooh, that is a, almost a one-hit kill. Right there. That is almost a one-hit kill. Don't appreciate that, dude. Wow. He's got pyromancy. Man's got pyromancy. Twilight Herb. Do we have one of the... What's that? Ah, oh, that's like... Restores spell uses. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna ignore these dudes. Um, because we don't have a fragrant branch of yore to get rid of that petrified statue. So there's currently two that I'm aware of that we haven't done. One is in an area that I have still forgotten. I'm not sure where. I'll probably just go back on my past episodes to find it. Um, and then the other one is here. I need to make more of a note of them to go back for them um, but again I'm trying to do them in order of how we come across them so I'll probably do the um, I probably won't do this one when I get a branch gold pine resin nice can we backstab this dude can we backstab this gentleman He, he was, like, moving, so I thought he was going to turn around, but he kind of didn't. Ooh, he just got me. He just got me. It's all right, buddy. Next time. Another ling another lingering flame. Oh. <laughs> I guess if you are coming up this way, maybe if you went the other, if you went the other way to get to Lost Bastille, that would get kicked down at you. It's locked. How dare you. Oh. Well, fuck. Okay. Um. Alright. The antiquated, antiquated key to, uh, was not for that gate. That's okay. Um, don't fall down. Hurrah for door. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. Oh, I've alerted them to my presence. Um, okay, we'll, we'll move on from this area because this looks like that is done. Uh, we can travel to the other bonfire at the Lost Bastille and maybe work from there. Because we can't go this way. Oh. Mm. My range. My range! Here's a thing there. I don't have one. Do I have one? No. I don't have. <gasps> I do have one! Where the fuck did I get that? Oh! 
Did that just drop? We did not have this before. I must have just quickly picked that one up. I'm gonna have to rewatch. I'm gonna have to rewatch this and be like, "Sorry, when did we get this?" Oh man, should we just use it on this? Should we just use it on this door while we're here instead of the other one? Yeah, let's do it. What? I'm so confused. Come on, attack me. You can't be nice like the last one. Alright. What's waiting for us in here? Oh, bruh. Okay, we just woke everyone up. Alright, 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 alright. I, I get it. Alright, alright. Is the amount of enemies in this room going to be worth it? I could see you guys through the window. Oh, it's more of these things. They look like, um, see, we're, I saw these in the boat before. They look like the, um, they look like the effigies. They look like the effigies. Holy crap, guys. Settle. Whew. Honestly. Look both ways before you enter a room. Why are you in a cell? What makes you any... What makes you any different? You're just gonna attack me like the rest, right? Yeah, yeah, what the fuck? Okay, fog wall, and you guys are running away? This is a trap. Yeah, what the hell? What are you doing? Um, come on, guys. I'm not ready to go through a fog wall in this condition. Oh, there's another way down. Okay, so that takes me down. But then also, this staircase in this room also takes me down. Oh, there's a dude in one of the things. Oh. No! gonna use that now. What in the world? Well you're not friendly. Can I talk to him? Oh! Oh! Holy fuck. Alright. Ah, oh, this is... Human effigy. This is the ladder. Alright. This just takes us to the same place. Yeah. Cool. Now it's just the fog wall. I was like, oh cool, fragrant branch of yore. Maybe we'll get another Estus Flash Shard. That'll be nice. But we're in some sort of prison area instead. More radiant life gem. Uh, I'm going to go back to the bonfire, which again requires another use of the homeward bone because we can't actually get back to the bonfire via standard means. 
Um, and then I will... Alright, let's do this again. Pretty sure there's someone that I could buy Homeward Bones from somewhere. We'll go back again. Just because I need to rest at the bonfire. This is where fast travel is just, it's just nice, because then you're like, oh... I'll just go back here, and then I can just go back again. And it's, and it's, and it's nice. I mean, the only, like, kind of negative part is that I keep having to go back here specifically to level up, instead of just, you know, being able to level up at any bonfire, but that's fine. Um... I can level up once. I know I'm going to need more intelligence at some point for um, better spells. Also, maybe just more intelligence in real life. But, you know, it's a work in progress. Uh, let's do... Let's just bump dexterity up to a 9 as well. Back to the Lost Bastille, back to the tower. We'll work our way through these enemies once again, and then see what's behind the fog wall. I'm assuming another boss fight. I'm gonna try and keep the... I'm gonna try and just... leave dudes alone when we can. These dudes we can't really leave alone. Kind of have to take them on. Oh, hang on. Oh no, I fucked. I fucked myself. I didn't think he could fit through the door. I did not think he'd fit through the. I didn't think he'd fit through the door. This is going terribly. Don't do it! Ooh! How did I dodge that? Where? <laughs> no! Oh, bud. This dude now. I think we. I think we've done pretty well. I think we've done pretty well up to this point. To to die. We've done pretty well. Alright, so that other dude, even though he's chilling over there, he'll still come up behind me. So I'm like, can we skip and run past enemies? Uh, Dark Souls 2 uh, says no, you can't. Fuck you for even trying. Because it'll just get worse for you if you do. Um, understandable. Have a nice day. So we're just going to do a bunch of this. Oh, that is just rude. Because... I just... Do we have repair powder? We do. We've got repair powder, so at the very least, I can repair my sword. If I need to. This guy coming for us is a bit annoying. Now that is even more annoying. Now that is even more annoying. Fuck this lack of stamina shit, man. And now this dude's coming for me. There he is. Right on cue. To throw his hat in the ring. He's like, oh, cool. Oh, he's gonna blow himself up. And I didn't take any damage. How does he not... I didn't do any damage when uh, he was in the middle of getting up. Let's do this again. Oh no! That should have been a fail. Like, I totally went the wrong way and failed to get out of the door there.
<sighs> Dark Souls, eh? Dark Souls. And the reason why I use life gems um, instead of the flasks when I've got flasks is because the flask heals more than the life gem does. So when I've only got a little bit of health... I use the life gems instead. Oh my god, the fact that it's already at risk. Look at that sword! Do you see <laughs> the sword in the background? Um, okay. Repair powder, please. Wonderful. Um, good stuff. Thank you everybody for coming. Um, I've got enough uses for things, I'm pretty sure. I feel pretty good. I haven't had to use a pine resin yet. Okay. No one hiding around the corner. All right. Let's go through the fog wall. Three. 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 And one's right. He's ready to kill me. Oh shit. That's really annoying that that hit me. <gasps> what the fuck, dude? Oh, he's fallen! He's fallen. Oh no. Oh, dude, no, I don't... Okay, there's three. <gasps> oh! He jumps back up! This is such a small area to fight in! What the fuck? Oh, wow. Dude, these attacks are insane. I'm already using all of my flasks on just one of them. I got one. I got one. Oh no, he's coming. Alright, I think it's better to just... Oh, as if it didn't do the thing! As if I didn't... Come on. Now I gotta fight two at once, don't I? Yep, I gotta fight two at once. Holy shit. Wow. What the fuck is that? I'm dead. I'm dead. I don't even have radiant life gems equipped. Fuck. Oh no, don't. Ruin Sentinel. Ruin Sentinels. Ruin Sentinels. What the fuck? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. It's a very... you got a very small area to deal with that first one. And then once you kill one, the other two will come after you. I don't think it's a good idea to stay on that platform. I was hoping that I would have been able to drop down and do attacks on that. I'm going to try that again. Hopefully I can land it properly. And then it's just a matter of keeping distance. Three bosses at once. Okay. Okay. We, we got this. I don't think I'm going to be able to sprint past these enemies and get through to the fog wall because there's kind of so many of them and... Oh, actually... Yeah, no, I can't. Yeah, that's that's going to be difficult. I have to kill those enemies each time. Uh, let's chuck the Radiant Life Gem in my inventory. In case of emergency. I should probably buy some more of these. I'm going to need, I'm going to need those. Wild. Alright, that's fun. Um, 
let's uh, let's do that again. My advice is don't try and skip all of these enemies because I tried to skip them the first time, um, and I and I died. Um, and now I have to I have to live with the consequences of that. That I miss out on my souls because of these fucking assholes. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I really just fell down. I really just fell down. All right, we're fucking. All right, we're fucking doing it. We're just taking taking them all on at once. All right. All right. Okay. Oh yeah. Where they both are just attacking out of order, really weirdly. Oh, there's the third one. How could I forget the third ruin sentinel? Yep, he, there he is, doing that attack. That's good, that's good. Okay, where's that second one? He's stressing me out. There you are. Ooh, that's stressing me out, buddy. That is stressing me out. I need to... I need to... Ooh, yeah, that's, that's really getting me. I need to... Oh yeah, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. Oh, I'm almost dead. Hey guys, you're all doing kind of the same attacks and uh, it's really stressing me out. Oh man, you're really just taking down those columns, hey? You really just be taking them down like they're nothing. Hey guys. Oh, you throw shields. Oh, now you've lost your shield? <gasps> Ooh, he stitched his shield. That's cool. Can he pick it up again? Hmm, I don't, I don't know what to... Yeah, I'm just gonna accept my fate. There's no way I can take on three of them at once. Can I? How can I possibly do that? Oh, boys, 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 boys. Okay. Ruin, ruin sentinels. We love the ruin sentinels. Um, trying to skip these guys is really not good. Not really achievable, actually. Um, like, I'm trying. I can get rid of this guy. And then I can get rid of the other the two swordsmen. But my problem is this dude comes up from behind and there's like, I don't know, ten dudes inside the building? And to have to deal with that every time is uh, a bit of a pain. Just a bit of a pain. Because I go, oh yeah, maybe I'll be able to rush through this and I'm not recording, and then it's like, oh, cool, I just lost all of my all of my souls that I had built up. And this guy thinks he can just waltz right over to me. Take me out like I'm nothing. And then I open this door. I open this door. And I can't skip everyone, I wish that I could, but there's like a ladder involved, or like some bullshit. And there's so many of them. I'm out of stamina. Really just trying to lay into them and do a bit of this and do a bit of that. Oh, why didn't I attack there? That's good. Probably out of stamina, as usual. Ooh, Royal sword. Swordsman something. I got a piece of gear. I think it might have been... Yeah. Ooh. It's better, but it weighs more. But it's also not that much better, so I don't really care. Okay, and it's not over because just when you take out that whole group, there's another like two or three right here. Oh, no four. Never never fucking mind, dude. I'm like, oh yeah, just another three. So then you go through that struggle. You go through that struggle. You know, all the all the meanwhile I'm losing my health, so therefore I'm losing you know, a chance to survive like an extra hit. I think I really need to use a shield and my magic sword for this because using casting spells is is not working out for me. 
I hate that you drop right into this encounter. It's ridiculous. And he keeps falling down. And I'm going to wait for him to get back up. Look at that. He has the... <gasps> no. No. Oh, no. My sword. Alright, this is where we quickly have a moment here. Oh, bitch. That's good timing. That's good timing. Where are you? Oh, no, I don't have a magic sword anymore. Oh, it doesn't even fucking make a difference, to be honest. Oh, maybe it does make a difference. But... I don't think I have time to cast the spell, unless he falls over again. Okay, that's good, that's good. And he's going to attack again. Oh man, and I'm dead. Yep. Don't even think I got my souls because I died on the floor and I don't want to go down on the floor before these guys fight me. Oh, ruin sentinels are going to ruin my life. <laughs> okay, that's good. So the tactic is uh, good luck. That's the that's the tactic. Like. Doesn't matter how many spells I use, like spell uses isn't an issue because I'm not even really able to cast them, especially in that first battle. Um, I'm not going to bother going after souls at this point because like the amount of souls that I can just earn just in this encounter just by hanging out is fine. There he is. Why can't you just ignore me? Like, sir, please, why can't you just go about your day? and treat this as like an area that you just can't access. Really gets on my nerves. See, I don't even know if doing magic damage to these dudes is actually doing anything. I don't know if it's actually... I don't know if it's working. Against the Ruined Sentinels too, most of all. Appreciative for the fact that they drop life gems, at least. again um, and we've got you know I'm just gonna re-magic my weapon try again oh look it's the ruin sentinel fancy seeing you here oh yeah my sword is at risk again I forgot that that is a thing that happens I wonder if that's because I'm using magic sword. Maybe it takes down the, um, the durability more. That's uh, entirely a possibility, actually. Oh, you were supposed to fall off. Come on, get off, get off. Oh no, it broke. Can I? Can I use? Oh no. I kind of, I kind of just give up at this point. I broke my sword, man. Now I'm on the floor. This is where the fun begins. Oh, not the fucking spinny. Ah, oh, that 
sword's broken now, so I think that's entirely, entirely broken. I believe, right? Is that how that works? It's entirely broken? Yep, it's fucked. Jesus Christ. Man. Ugh. Cause I, cause I just fucking kept using it. Cause I can't use the repair powder. And if I want to wield anything else, I need more dexterity. Or more strength. Cause I can't wield anything else. Can, can the blacksmith fix it if it's entirely broken? Cause I've fucking, I put titanite shards into this thing. Let me see. I knew you. <sighs> 1080 souls. Sir, if you need 1080 souls, I will retrieve them for you. What do you know? That, um... You can get exactly 1080 souls by killing the big dude and those two soldiers. It's almost like it's entirely fated to occur. So it's like, hey. Oh my god, man. Oh my god. Why can't I just come go back to the bonfire without having to use like a homeward bone? You know, because you can't I can't even get back through I can't go back through that window to get onto the other side. Can't just jump over the thing. You're really just gonna make me homeward bone to the bonfire that's right in front of me, dude. If only I had the if only I had the homeward miracle, wouldn't that just be wouldn't that just be like absolutely absolutely fine? There we go. Travel. This is where Dark Souls 2 shines <laughs> in its unfortunate moments of oh yeah that's how they uh, that's how they're choosing to that's how they're choosing to do things Thank you I'll be around What a waste um, yeah I'm wondering if uh, let me have a look I don't know, I'm wondering if uh, the sword just has bad durability in general, um, or whether using a magic weapon you. might um, cause it to uh, times these are. to break easier. Regardless, it means that I, I can't rely solely on that sword to get me through this fight. I'm going to need to do a healthy amount of long range with the... with my sorcery. But it's just, it's just hard. Because they're so aggressive. Um, I think maybe... It might even be better for me to put this shield back in this hand. I'll carry a backup shield in that hand. Because um, I want to be able to, oops, I want to be able to block and use this, the catalyst, but then also swap and use the sword. You know, I don't, I'm not entirely sure how well that's going to work out for me at the end of the day, but we can see. I hate that we traded there.
using life gems when I'm in non-stressful encounters as in compared to saving my flasks for the boss fight is what's happening here. This is what happens when I'm not fighting with my stupid fucking... See, this is the kind of shit that happens off screen when I'm just running back to get my souls. Just stupid, stupid shit of me trying to figure out how to get to the boss room <laughs> without wasting all of my stuff. And it's just, uh, it's just a time. Uh, we're gonna try this pathway to see if I can, like... Oh, never mind, because there's a dude down here. I was like, oh, skip the dudes up top. And there's just a dude down here. Slightly restores my great soul arrow. I'm pretty sure there are dudes like right here. I'm just trying to see if I can sprint to the finish. Isn't it nice to see my human face after a while? Okay, they just straight up ignore me. That's that's good good to know, I guess. Um, also, I was trying to attack some enemies before with my normal weapon, and I just see the durability just straight up go down. So I just think there's like no matter what, this weapon's durability just goes down like crazy. Which is really unfortunate, because it's, uh, it's not what you want. Man, you're really taking me for everything that I am, sir. How's that for your poise, sir? Oh, shit. I got a bit too aggressive. I don't have the right stuff on either. Oh, shit. Oh, why did I do that? Alright, we've got one of them out of here. Uh, I don't feel good about the rest. Let's quickly use repair powder because I feel like this is the only time that I'm going to be able to do it. What? What? As if, man. As if. As if, like, for real, though. Like, how was I not able to drop down and do damage on him? That really bugs me. I don't like him. I don't, I don't like him. I don't like him. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I am going to call this one here because what I know that I need to do and that I don't have time for because we've run for so long is I need to get a, I need to get some more swords <laughs> uh, that I can actually equip because this one's breaking. Repair powder is expensive. I need a sword 
to mix up doing both physical damage and magic damage and I'm not going to do that right now um, so I will call this one here because I know that the ruined sentinels are going to keep me up uh, forever <laughs> until I sort it out uh, so I will end this episode here and we will go after the ruined sentinels next time they have they have knocked me back but I will not be beaten I will not go hollow I will not dare go hollow. Thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. Uh, and I will see you next time. Thank you.